Hey guys, so welcome to my vlog. Um, this is actually my first time vlogging, so don't judge me. But this will be part one, the prepping for the show. And then there will be a part two with the actual show. And right now it's Saturday. And I'm just on my way to the barn and everything. So yeah. Okay, so I kind of switched over. I got to the barn and I just decided I was going to go ahead and wash my tail. So actually I'm wearing le leggings because I'm going to ride English and some of my friends there so that's why they were like coming over in the vid so yeah um i just put conditioner on it and everything okay so this is after i let the conditioner sit for a little bit i just like washed it out and then i had to restart it again and then i detangled it and put some leave-in conditioner spray in so while i let that sit i went over and said hi to thomas and then went to go see kevin he was not super happy that i was there in the morning and he had hay all over his face it was kind of gross but he says hi to okay so i got him out and i tacked him up and he says hi again and he's so cute and i'm about to go ride english so i am on him and he had a really good ride he was a little fresh but he just like wanted to play and then this is after it's just so cute and then, so I had a lesson for showmanship, so I did showmanship next, and he's also really good for that. So I put him up, and then I went with Ava, and I got to drive the golf cart. She had to go over and clean one of the barns, and there's that really fat donkey at our barn, and the rest of the horses, some of them got to go outside today since it's so nice out. Then I actually got home, got and his tail, tail was super shiny and all dry, and I am going to go to out shopping, and then... Go to the pool and then I will clean my tack. Basically, Ava came with me to this and we worked ribbons, which was, we were kind of a little bored because it took forever, but we made it through. Here was my fit for the day. Then I got to the barn and I lunched Kevin before I rode because he was kind of really fresh. Say hi. Okay. They're pretty noisy. He was a very good boy. Here are actually some videos that I got while riding. The second video that's going to come up is his moderate extended loop. So right here I was just doing a few square corners. He's still very green with the faster lope, so that's what we've been working on with him. Since it's been hot out lately, he got super sweaty and hot, so he liked getting the itchies out afterwards. You like that, bub? So I just got home from the barn, and before I started cleaning anything, I wanted to show you these new like treats I just got for Kevin. They're like low sugar um, treats and they're banana flavored and they have sprinkles on them. And they come with so much. I think they were like 20, 21, 23 dollars. Um, not sponsored, but I just want to show you guys that and I think you'll love them. So I finally got to cleaning my tag. First, I put my tail back up since it's all good after washing. And I had to move everything out of the way. And then I realized I had another saddle stand. So I'm cleaning my English saddle. Here's the before. It was a little dusty since I've been riding in it a couple times at the barn. So I will be using this with a towel and then I might use this, but I don't know for sure yet. Okay, so don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure when my dad asked Blue Ribbon, they said to use that leather spray for cleaning saddles and it works really well for me. And then afterwards I use the leather conditioner to make my saddle like more soft again since it needs to like be softer. Then here's the after. It's not a huge difference because the saddle wasn't dirty really to begin with. It was just a little dusty. And also afterwards I ended up cleaning the stirrups a little bit because they had a little bit of dirt in them. While I'm letting that dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off his halter, his bridle, his show halter, and his um, western bridle. Okay, so basically for the bridle, I just use 
that leather clean spray because I don't really like condition them as much. I do condition them, but since I just had a show in March, I didn't really need to condition it much. And yeah, here's me cleaning off. So I actually forgot to mention beforehand, but we use this um, semi chrome polish. Do not get on me if I say that wrong for the silver parts of my western tack and it really works wonders and you just like put it on a soft towel and use it to buff things up so basically when we got my show saddle they gave us this and we used it and it really worked to make it all shiny again like after the metal like started to not shine anymore and basically all you really need is a soft towel and you just buff it with it and you, all those gray marks on that towel you can see are like kind of how it like, gets shined it up or whatever he was super good for showmanship practice He tells everybody he's going to be good for riding. This was after. He was really good today. And he's all ready to take his bath. So for bathing him, I'm going to use a uh, swab shampoo, swab conditioner, which this stuff actually works really well for being cheap. And then silver stuff for his white hoof, uh, iodine for his back legs, um, baby shampoos for his face, and then afterwards I put on some leave-in conditioner and hair moisturizer, and then also over here I use coat gloss, a detangler, and some hoof stuff. Eva says hi. <laughs> He's all bathed. He's all clean. He's so cute, bub. Aww. We're all packed up and ready to go. for the vlog. <laughs>